Blessings loved ones, my name is Paisley and today I'll be guiding you through an intermediate yoga flow to the peak pose, chakrasana or wheel pose. I'll show you what that looks like now. So this class is going to be an intermediate class and it's also going to be a lot on the shoulders, the arms, wrists, and hands. So if you have any current pain or injuries in that part of your body, or if you're new to yoga, I recommend trying a different yoga video on my channel. And if you would like to challenge yourself today with this more challenging flow, we're going to be using the core a lot and of course getting into that nice deep back bend and the shoulders, then let's get started. So find yourself on your mat. I always recommend having a blanket to pad your knees and under your hips, especially if you're on a hard surface like a hardwood floor. And for today's class, I'm also going to recommend having a block. So finding yourself in your nice, tall, seated position going to bring the eyes to a gentle close or if it feels more appropriate for you you can have them at a soft gaze looking down at the floor just becoming aware of your internal experience becoming present on your mat in this moment and then we'll begin to bring the awareness to the breath just focusing on the air flowing through the lungs, on the inhale, through the nose, expanding the chest, expanding the belly. And exhale, gently releasing the air again through the nostrils, draw, drawing the navel to the spine. Inhale through the nose, chest expands, belly expands, full torso expands, full yogic breath. And exhale, reversing this process, gently drawing navel to the spine, fully expelling the breath from the lungs. Let's go ahead and continue this deep, full yogic breath at your own pace. A few more deep conscious, intentional breaths. Feeling the space where your hips meet, the floor, or wherever you're sitting. Feeling grounded into your mat. And as you're breathing, be reminded that everything we do in our practice together today is open to your interpretation. Please listen to your body. You are your own best teacher. And your body knows what it needs. So if we're feeling pain, you can always modify. And gently start to blink the eyes open. If they were closed, you can gaze down at the floor, or the ground where you are, coming back into the space. We'll start getting into opening the chest. Again, if you have a blanket, you can sit on top of it. I've just got my hips coming right off the blanket here. You find a nice tall spine. You can imagine a string pulling you up from the crown of your head. And then we'll open the arms on an inhale, looking up to the sky. Exhale, round and hug the arms in. Inhale, open up. And exhale, other arm on top, give yourself a hug. Just continuing this with your own breath. Inhale to open, look up. And exhale, rounding forward, hugging in. Alternating which arm is on top every time you hug. And then we'll start to bring the spine into this a little bit. So we can have a cat-cow motion with the spine. Inhaling, really opening through the chest as you look up and exhaling rounding the back forward navel draws to spine you can even bring forehead toward the arms or toward the sternum to round 
Deep breathing. Big opening. Big rounding down an angry cat. A few more rounds like this. And then we'll inhale to rest the hands on the knees and just take some nice shoulder circles here. Big smooth movements with your big smooth breath. Inhaling shoulders up toward the ears and exhaling roll them down the back open the chest make it juicy find your full range of motion next time we exhale we'll reverse the direction of the circle inhaling up exhaling down finding your full circle the other direction and the next time we exhale deep press the shoulders down as far as they'll go and we'll relax the shoulders and just bring the motion into the neck. So inhaling, nose point straight forward and exhaling, chin to chest. Inhaling, looking straight up, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Just painting a line up and down with the nose. Sinking movement with breath. Inhale up and exhale down. It can be a slow, fluid movement. And the next time we exhale down, let's inhale left ear to left shoulder, exhale chin to chest. Inhale right ear to right shoulder, exhale chin to chest. And continue this movement flowing with your own breath. Can be as slow or as quick as you like, but always in my class I invite you to slow it down. And you might notice an extra tight spot in your neck. Invitation to hang out there and breathe into it. Just give that spot a little extra love. And we'll exhale, chin back to chest. Inhale, looking straight ahead. And then this time, let's open the arms out. We'll bring the hands to thumbs up. And then really opening the wrists. You can imagine that I've got the, my hands on your wrists and I'm pulling them gently away from your torso. Almost as if you were starting to try to reach your elbows together behind your back. Opening up across the collarbones, across the chest. And then from here, really pressing out through those thumbs, we'll just exhale and rotate thumbs down. Inhale, rotate it all the way up. Exhale, rotating down. So find your full range of motion here. And you'll notice that it's possible to just rotate from the elbow. We actually wanna to try to rotate all the way from up here in the shoulder. So you'll feel the movement all the way down your arm as you rotate from the shoulders internally and externally to move the thumbs. A few more deep breaths like this. And then we can open the palms really reach through all 10 fingertips you can wiggle the fingers keep breathing into the stretch across the collarbones if you want to wiggle a little bit side to side while you reach with each hand breathing deeply whatever feels good feel into it and then with the palms forward all 10 fingers extended we'll do our rotations again coming from the shoulders Inhale up and exhale, thumbs rotate down, keep reaching through all 10 fingers. I know it can be intense. One more breath. And then let's just shake out the arms a little bit. Ha! <sighs> if you've got your legs crossed, go ahead and cross the other leg in front or on top. So switch the cross of the legs and then come back to your nice tall spine. This time we're going to interlace the fingers back behind the neck so that your palms are pressing into the base of your skull and the thumbs can come down to the sides of the neck just massaging the sides of the neck give yourself a nice couple of deep breaths as you give yourself a little massage here Ooh, enjoying it one more deep breath like this 
and then pressing those palms of the hands into the base of the neck. We can use the arms to pull the spine longer. Start to draw the elbows back behind the body as you gently look up. Engage the belly here to protect the spine. Feel the opening across the arms and the shoulders. And then inhale, spine long. Exhale, forehead to sternum. Feel the stretch in the back body and the neck. Inhale, spine long. Engage the belly. Exhale, forehead to belly. Draw the belly in, keep engaging. Inhale, spine long. Open the chest and shoulders. Exhale, forehead to pubic bone. Inhale, spine long. Exhale, forehead to feet or to the floor. Engage the belly, draw the belly in. And then inhale all the way back up. Opening through the chest and shoulders, little back bend if that feels okay. Exhale back to a neutral spine and then we'll take twists. So inhaling spine long, exhaling twisting over the right shoulder. And I want you to really think about twisting from above the belly button. So we're not twisting with our hips, keeping the belly nice and engaged and twisting from above the belly button. So my chest, my shoulders, over to the right, over the right shoulder. Inhale, spine comes long, expand through the rib cage, and exhale, twist a little more. Next, inhale back to a nice neutral spine. <sighs> Breathe it out. And then we'll open to the left, twisting other side. Inhale, spine comes long. Exhale, opening the elbows. Keep looking over that left shoulder, twisting from above the navel. One more inhale, and exhale, come on back to center. Go ahead and shake out the arms. Ooh. <sighs> Breathe it out, shake it out. And then we're going to make our way onto our bottoms. And bring the hands back behind the hips then go ahead and plant the feet bend the knees and just take the knees side to side windshield wipering the legs releasing the low back here been sitting for a while and from here we're going to take reverse table so pressing into the feet Pressing the feet into the ground, rather. Engage the belly, pressing the hands into the floor. This first time we're going to have our fingertips pointing toward our hips. Inhale, lifting the hips up, pressing into the shoulders. So I've got my shoulders right over my wrists and my knees right over my ankles. Looking forward to protect the neck. Keep lifting the hips. So just to clarify, I'm looking forward and not up unless I have the neck strength for it. And what we're definitely not doing is collapsing back. That's too hard on the neck. <laughs> and exhaling down. So next time up, fingertips out to the side. If this is too much on your wrist, modify it or just take a break. Inhaling, lifting the hips. Pressing down through all 10 fingertips. Pressing down through the shoulders. One more big belly breath. And exhale, lower down. And last time up, we're gonna flip the fingers facing away from us. So wrists closer to the hips and fingertips back. Plant the feet. And inhale, lift it up, reverse table. Keep breathing. Keep looking forward, keep pressing out through the wrist. This one is the most on the shoulder, so if it's painful, come out of it. And exhale, slowly lower down with control. Let's shake out the wrist. You can get the wrist a little massage. And 
we're going to make our way into a kneeling position. So if you have a blanket, again, I recommend using that to pad up the knees, especially if you're on a hard surface or have sensitive knees like I do. We're going to come into tabletop position. So again, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And the toes can be curled under or the tops of the feet pressing into the floor, yogi's choice. And from here, we're going to take sunbird. So bringing the weight into the right shin, the right knee. Let's lift up the left leg, bringing the weight even into both hands, really pressing down through all 10 fingers and kicking out through the left heel. I'm fully engaged from my left glute all the way out through the left heel. And then this might be plenty, or if you want more, engage the belly, weight more into the left hand, and then lift the right, right arm. So I'm pulling my right shoulder back Keeping my shoulders and my hips squared. One more inhale, getting long. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale, set it down. Same thing, other side. Weight into the left knee, left toes. I'll lift up the right leg. So rather than hiking up my right heel, I'm keeping my um, hips in equal alignment. So both hips facing down toward the floor, pressing out strongly through that right heel. And I'm keeping my right heel about the same level as my right hip, not higher, not lower. Again, nice steady engagement. This might be plenty. If you want more, weight more into the right hand, engage the belly, reach out through the left fingers. Draw the left shoulder back. Keep kicking out through that right heel. One long line of energy from the left fingertip out through the right heel. One more inhale here, get long, and exhale, set it down. Good. One more core exercise here. If this is getting to be a lot on your wrist, you can also take fists here. So, Toes curling under, let's engage the belly, press down through the hands, and go ahead and lift the, the knees just a few inches up off of the mat or the blanket. Keep engaging the belly, keep pressing down through the hands, down through the shoulders. So notice I'm not collapsing into my shoulders here. I'm making space through the back of my heart center. You got this, one more inhale. And exhale, lower it slowly. Whew, good job. Breathe it out here. If you'd like, you can bring the knees wide, big toes to touch, and rest down for child pose. Deep belly breaths here, and resting. And then go ahead and make your way forward. We'll do a little bit of back bending too warm ourselves up for our peak pose. I'm going to extend my blanket so that it's under my hips now. So first cobra, we'll bring the hands underneath the shoulders, hugging the elbows into the sides of the rib cage, pressing my hips down, pressing the tops of my feet down so much that my knees pop up off the mat. And then on an inhale, start to lift the chest and shoulders off of the mat. Keep engaging through the entire backside of the body. And look forward about a foot, maybe two feet. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. One more inhale, get a little higher. And then exhale, lower down, rest. Let it go. Next time up, we're going to come to Sphinx Pose. So elbows right under the shoulders here. Nice active fingers, so I'm pressing out through all 10 fingers. 
and I'm shining my heart center through my shoulders to look forward. Keep engaging the back side of the body, engage the glutes, pressing the tops of the feet down. Nice long spine here. Inhale and exhale, go ahead and lower down and rest. So coming back through tabletop, move the blanket to the side. We'll curl the toes under, lift the hips downward facing dog. Breathe nice and deep here, enjoy your down dog. You can bend one knee deeply on the other. Walking out your dog, stretching back through the hamstrings. <sighs> nice deep belly breaths here. You can exhale, let it go through the mouth. <sighs> One more time, inhale through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. <sighs> Make sound, you can shake the head yes and no. Release the crown of the head down to the mat. Reaching the hips up, spine lengthens, pressing it back in your dog. One more deep breath in dog. And then we'll bring the knees back to the mat and make our way back to seated to tabletop. We'll do one more core exercise on our way to lay down for our peak pose. If you have a block, you'll want it next to you so that it's handy for when we go into the chakrasana or wheel or bridge. So getting yourself back into this position, pressing down through the feet, get a nice tall spine, heart shining through the shoulders, and then engage the belly here, rock back on your sit bones and lift the feet for bridge. So main thing in bridge, there's a tendency to round, draw the heart through the shoulders, nice flat spine, engage the belly to protect the back. This is the first level, if you want more, arms alongside the legs. Keep that belly engaged. If you want even more, you can extend the legs full boat And then we'll lower slowly with control all the way down to our back. From here, once again, bending the knees, soles of the feet flat on the floor. Let's put a knee, uh, block between our knees if we have the block. If we don't have a block, just pretend you're squeezing a block between the knees. Arms can come alongside the body perhaps just grazing the backs of the heels with the fingertips. And then we'll inhale, press into the arms, lift the hips for bridge pose. One long line of energy from the tops of the shoulders to the kneecaps here in bridge. If you want more, you can interlace the fingers underneath the body, roll the shoulders under. Press down through the shoulders and the full length of the arms, wrists, and hands. Really using the strength of the arms and the legs here in bridge pose. Breathing deeply. One more inhale. And then exhale, release the hands if they were interlaced. Slowly lower the hips down. So if you'd like to skip your chakrasana or wheel pose today, you can most certainly just practice bridge a second time or a third time. Um, third time through will be optional for everyone. Um, and if you'd like to do chakrasana, then I'll cue that next. So keep the block between your knees if you have it. If you don't have it, keep pretending. <sighs> Exhale to prepare. And then go ahead and inhale into bridge if you're going into bridge. If you're going into wheel, bring the hands back to the shoulders. 
So my fingertips are pointing to my shoulders. My elbows are still hugging in so we're not splaying out. Hugging in nice and tight like in Cobra so I can plant my hands down, all 10 fingers. And then lift up onto the top of your head and then all the way up for your wheel pose. In wheel, pressing the feet firmly down, heart space shining through the shoulders. Keep the arms firmly plugged into the shoulder socket. Keep the belly softly engaged. Feeling all 10 fingers and all 10 toes pressing down. Body fully engaged. If you're comfortable, you can shake the head yes and no. And as soon as you're ready, looking up to tuck the chin, lowering yourself slowly down onto your shoulders with control. Can set the block off to the side. And just breathe and relax here for a minute. So beautiful work. If you just did bridge today, that's perfect. If you tried your wheel pose, it's an ongoing practice and wherever you are today is perfect. So finding that compassion for self as we cool down here. <clears throat> we'll extend the left leg long, right knee into the chest. Just go ahead and hug it in for a moment. Engage the left toes, drawing the left toes toward your face. And then we'll grab the pinky toe edge side of the right foot, pulling the right knee into the right shoulder for half happy baby. Breathe into the stretch in the hip flexor on the right. Keep pressing down through the left hip, both hips evenly planted. And breathe. Then we'll bend the left knee in. Go ahead and set the right ankle on top of the left knee, coming into a figure four stretch. Engaging both toes, both feet, toes flexing back toward the face. And then you can interlace the fingers underneath the left knee, drawing the left knee in toward the face as you gently use the right elbow to push the right knee away. On your next exhale, melt the shoulders down toward the mat. If you're lifting your head up, just go ahead and rest your head down. Finding ease here. One more inhale. And exhale, set the legs down. And then extending right leg long, left knee hugs in. Keep engaging the toes of the right foot, flexing them toward the face. Then you can grab the pinky toe edge of the left foot, drawing the left knee toward the left shoulder, breathing into your half happy baby on the left side, pressing down through the right hip, even weight in both hips. Keep breathing into the hip flexor on the left side. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee, drawing it in. Left ankle to the top of the right knee. Flexing, engaging both feet. And then you can wrap the hands around the right knee, gently drawing that right knee in as you use the left elbow to push the left knee away. Figure four, breathing. On your next exhale, invite the shoulders to relax down toward the mat. Again, notice if you're lifting the head, see if you can set it down, just relax. One more full deep inhale here. 
and exhale release relax the legs and then from here we'll grab onto the tops of the knees and just use the arms to draw circles with the knees opening the groin massaging the lower back and sternum go ahead and draw circles the other direction Exhaling to set the feet down. Again, if you have the block, you can use it to set it right underneath your sacrum. If you don't have the block, no worries. You can do this without. From here, we're just going to lift up our legs. Four legs up the wall pose. Flexing out through the heels. Deep belly breath. Allowing the blood and lymphatic fluid to drain back towards the heart and the lungs. Breathing deeply to cleanse and nourish this fluid, this life-giving fluid. Exhaling, relaxing the arms and shoulders, relaxing the neck, pressing into the mat with the back of the skull. One more full inhale and exhale, float the feet back down to the mat. If you have a block, you can go ahead and remove it, set it off to the side, and then let the legs lay out, arms relax. Coming into Shavasana, final resting pose or corpse pose. Eyes can be open or closed here. Just letting go of the breath, letting go of the thoughts, keeping the legs out long. Or if there's pain in the low back, you can also do this with the knees bent and knocking in toward each other. Allowing the body to relax. Quiet body. And doing best to quiet the mind as well. start to blink the eyes open if they were closed, wiggle the fingers and the toes, reach the arms up and overhead, full body stretch like you're first waking up in the morning, and then go ahead and roll onto one side and push yourself up, back to your comfortable seated position, we'll close practice together. And pulling the spine nice and long, feeling the skull float on the neck. The eyes can be at a soft gaze or closed. Hands can rest on the knees or at heart center. Take a moment to send out this positive energy we've created in our practice today out to the world. You can dedicate your practice to a certain per person, a certain cause, a personal intention or affirmation within yourself. 
choose your dedication. And then send it out. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. May our practice and our lives somehow contribute to that happiness and that freedom. Om, peace, peace, peace. Peace to all the creatures in all the world. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.